So, Nornal, what are we doing today? I see you've been busy. Been real busy. Yeah, I'm just doing... Uh, I'm trying to get this organized in here. I want to get... Since we have the diamonds, I want to get a drawer controller built so we can just one-stop shop, drop everything off, and it oh. organizes for us. That's what you're leaving the space open for? Perfect. That's what that space is open for, yes, sir. Okay, so you say, drawer controller, I can do that. I can... Well, I'm sure I can find stuff eventually. Diamonds, one, two, probably takes at least two. Probably going to take some comparators, I bet. Here's the stone. All right, thank you. There it is, that's what I'm looking for. Yep, comparators, I was I remembered correctly. You have a, just a random drawer that you're not going to use? Uh, yeah, I will. Oh, um, yeah, comparators take, uh, well, unless there's an alternate recipe, I believe comparators are going to require us to go to the nether. Yeah, for nether quartz. Unless we've gotten some from, like, uh, a dungeon or something already. No, we're going to have to open the nether. Okay, for, for drawer controllers, we got to go to the nether. Here's your drawer. Okay, thank you. Oh, let me set up the uh, project chest. Oh, that's okay. You pretty much know what we're gonna do. But for draw for into the Nether portal, we suppose we. Uh, oh, do I have any more arrows? Do I have arrows in any of these chests? Stick them someplace. Did I shoot them all? I must have shot them all. Oh, there's a redstone. Uh, I haven't found any arrows. I had a few that I had been picking up from like uh, skeleton drops and stuff, but I think I shot them all but when we had the excitement in the basement. <laughs> hey, I have a death marker down there. We should remove that. Whoa. Cool. What okay, nice. so the project chest is on top of the bookshelf over here. Uh, oh, perfect. Perfect place for it. Project chest. Nice. All right. So we'll throw the stone in there. We'll throw this in there because that's part of what I'm going to need. We need... Oh, I think it was what? One or two? I think mean, I only made it in one. Yeah, it's only one. I think diamond. you only need one diamond for yeah, it. Yeah, one diamond. And a chest. And then, yeah, like the stone there. And then, yeah, we need the comparators. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we have a thing for place for stone. We do. And then. Um, well, you've got lava right here, so I don't even have to go get it. I just need a bucket, a bucket in spare someplace. Yeah, there's a bucket of with lava in it even already. Cool. So we'll do the. We don't want it directly in our base. Oh, maybe maybe I could go down and put it by the spawners. <laughs> From, you know, man, that's probably an appropriate place for it, right? Yeah. Down here. All right, we'll go clear a little spot for it. Oh, I should have grabbed that thing of lava. It's okay. Let's see something here. Is this? No. That must be mod pack specific. I was playing another mod pack the other day. You could right click a, uh, a ladder and it would just take you right to the top of the ladder. I'm not sure what mod actually adds that, but I thought it was cool. Plan for it right back through here. So, if I want the portal here, to, that would be the portal area. So that's got to be obsidian. One, two, three, obsidian there. Two, three, obsidian there. Two, three, obsidian there. Bloody cobblestone. Okay. What is that? It's not ore. It's cobblestone with bloody on it, blood on it. And then... Oop, dang it. Didn't mean to do that. Now it's going to be covered up anyway, so... Fill it back with cobble. So... What I like to do... In this case is... Run water kind of behind where my portal is going to be. 
now. So, where the portal gonna be? Yes. We actually need those three gone right there. I wanna remove those, like so. And then my water bucket's gonna go right there. Yeah, that'll work. Um, except I need a water bucket. Well, here, we can put that down. Go get a bucket of water from someplace. Like outside. <laughs> Hey, we put a, oh, you know, well, I guess I got the vine to climb down. That's good enough. <laughs> that's ice. That's not water. I need water. There we go. Oh, snow. That is mildly annoying. Ooh, creeper, run away. Uh, nope, I'm gonna have to deal with him now. Easy peasy. I go, yeah, yeah not all that time. Actually, convenient. All right, back down here. Start for oop. Before I get all the way down there, remember to grab the lava. That would be nice. That would be useful. Wrench. So as you can tell by now, Minecraft is starting to come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been playing some other mod packs too, to just casually so that I could uh, kind of get back in the swing of things. So water goes up there, it puts that one out, of course. Move that, that, and that. Okay, there we go. And then. lava source here. The first one I want to be like right there. Oop, I forgot to do one thing. I need one more block out of the up there before it will work. That block right there. It should cause water. Yeah, there we go. Water flows down and around. So if I put that there and that one there. Now we should have water flowing right there. Yep, good. Water still flowing. So then I can fill this in using the lava bucket. It's much easier than having to deal with the obsidian, in my opinion. If I don't have to break obsidian, I, I don't want to break obsidian. <laughs> there we go. And two more. One there. And one there. There we go. It does leave the water behind the wall, but I'm, I'm okay with that. You get that watery sound. Makes a watery sound. Uh, now all I need to do is... Might as well bring that lava back up. Or when Dornell needs it, he won't know where it's at. That. Head back up. Make ourselves a flint and steel, and then we're off into the nether. Let's put that down. Do we have a flint and steel by any chance? Probably not. Probably not. Oh. Okay, so I want to show you what I've done over here. Done over the other building? No, right here, right here. The block right here next to the door is actually trim, but it looks just like the building. Okay. What am I looking at? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Trim from open block or from the uh, thing here so that. Which connects the compacting to the drawer controller that's going to go in there. So he's talking about that one right there. One, there's the frame trim. Yep. Okay. I was like, it's not showing me, but yeah, I actually wasn't targeting the right block, but then I finally did. And there's one over here behind this piece of glass. Cool. 
Yeah, gotta look, I definitely like that. That you can disguise your trim so that you can. And right over here oh. is the framing table. Framing table, nice. Make our drawers look like anything we want now, if we want it. Okay, so flint and steel. So just need a piece of iron. One of these has got to be iron. There it is. And a piece of flint. Should have some flint around here, right? Is it in the drawer? Yeah, it is. Combine those. Gives our flint and steel. All right. Uh, probably don't need to take this bucket with me. I'm gonna take some cobblestone. Actually, I wanna like maybe even an extra stack of cobblestone. Don't really care about the limestone. Can I put that away? Do, does this does this have a drawer? Limestone? Limestone? Uh, mine not yet. Oh, does now? <laughs> does now? I gotta make the key yet, anyways. Okay. Um, just seeing if there's anything else I don't need to take with me. You know what? Do we have any feathers? How hard is it to make arrows? Um, I'm sure it's pretty standard recipe, right? Yeah. I just need feathers. Yeah. And I don't. And the thing about feathers, let me tell you about feathers. We, uh, I'm trying to populate our poppy plants out there so we can use those, and those will make feathers. The puffy plant, you said. Yep. Cool. It also makes feathers. Um, but unfortunately, you gotta wait till I get the seeds together to uh, build up our garden. Okay. If you say so. I do say so. Bone meal. What was you saying? <laughs> Using up all of our bone meal. <laughs> Here, let me get let me get a few for seeds, and you can have the rest. Yeah, we we we've got bone meal. It's not a big deal. Like, not hard to get. In fact, I probably have got some more bones here somewhere that could be ground up. <laughs> and if not, there's three spawners down in the basement that we can turn on. I'm sure one of them is a skeleton spawner because <laughs> there was a lot of skeletons in that room when I was fighting them the other day. So. Okay, so we use these to make feathers, usages. We can make fluffy fabric, some string, that's nice. Feathers, and wool. Uh, or seeds. Okay, so feathers. I don't think I, I don't think brought that much up, but... That's kind of nice that you can craft feathers. I don't think I've ever seen that there. before. Thank you. Alright, let's do that again. Feathers. Get a bunch of feathers. I had two left over. Those are extra. And then the flint is right... Where'd it go? It was right there a second ago. Did I, did I use it all? I only pulled one out. Maybe we didn't have any more than that? Only had the one. Had Sorry. The one. Okay. But I believe... We can just turn gravel into flint? Yes. There we go. Gravel's not that hard to get, and you can find deposits of it underground, after all. So we'll do that. Um, actually, I might want to get some more, so we'll just do this to pulverize some stuff. Pulverize some cobblestone. I know that gives me sand, but it has a byproduct of flint occasionally, so... Um, and, you know... Sand's good, because we're going to need the glass, I'm sure. Uh, otherwise, I could go down and dig some some gravel up. Um, just need a few sticks now. we have any, like, pre... There's one. And... I wonder if I can use the mineral wood. Oh, you... <laughs> That's funny. To make sticks, okay. I can. Mental wood. Um, you, I went for the crafting table, and you had just moved it. <laughs> that was that was funny. Yeah, it's got to be moved over here just because of the uh, drawer controllers going over there. All right, 
There's a few arrows. Well, I'd like to have more than that. So let's go get the rest of the flint to use up these few feathers that we have. I think that's what we need to do. Unless this has already produced some. It's produced one. That's not that much. Probably not too hard to just like sneak down here real quick and find a gravel. Some gravel. I usually ignore it, but right now I need it. And I'm probably overlooking some other easy to make ranged weapon, but y'all can, you know, tell me in the comments if I, you know, if there's something else that's particularly easy to make early game for ranged. And actually, I got the amount of flint I needed just from breaking it, so let's put that away. Oh. Here. Make the rest of those. What is, what is that? Flint knife? Flint dagger. Hmm, interesting. And then we'll put flint there, I guess, whatever. Just needs to go someplace, go to a drawer. All right, so now we got some arrows, we've got a bow, we got some torches, we got the torch thrower. Although torches in the nether are usually not that important, other than just you know lighting it up when it's you know near a particularly dark area. An axe. I probably don't need to take my crescent hammer over there, so I'm gonna leave that behind. Don't need this chisel. Don't think so anyway. Uh, and we're gonna grab a second stack of cobble to kind of make our area. Do we, um, what kind of doors can we make? Other than the basic doors, is there is there other doors in us? Like, is there malice doors? We anything? do. We do have an iron door there that can go somewhere. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Was it a vault door? Oh, multi storage. That's probably for something else. Um, biomes of plenty. Integrated dynamics door. Okay, that's the central thing. So, no, just basic doors and biomes doors. This is no malleus. All right, we'll take the iron door. That'd be good. Um. Can we do a obsidian pressure plate? No. Let's see if we can do a pressure plate of some kind that'll only detect players. Pressure plates. Sneaky pressure plate? What, what, what would that do? Got a sneak on it? I'm not sure what that would actually do. It's from Dark Utilities. Um, I can't remember if any of the vanilla pressure plates are player specific? I don't think so. Oh, goodness. Okay, any other? This you. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that could make it the one, the sneaky. What's a sneaky block? Sneaky block is uh, stone and dwindle cream, which is a wither dust and some kind of adhesive, like a slime ball or something. Okay. So, do I have a wither dust? No, that's pulverized cloth. I swear I got like a wither dust from, from a mob the other day. Let me look through these real quick just to make sure I'm not, not overlooking it. Nope, must have been something else or a different mob pack. Anyway, it looks like we're not going to have a pressure plate for that, so we need to make a button for the uh, outside. We can put a pressure plate on the inside. In fact, we'll do a stone pressure plate for the inside, so we can exit the room after we create it. I don't need this obsidian. Flint steel pressure plates, uh, that, that. Where does it say that? Um, there's the door. Ah, closed. There's the door. Okay, we got the iron door. All right, we're ready to go. You ready? Oh, well, okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? If you're not ready, I can wait. Let me unload. Okay, yeah, yeah. Clear your inventory. A little bit of a lag spike there. Well, you made the door pretty big, didn't you? I, I just always make a 3x3, three three. I just, I don't know, I don't like, I don't really care for the, uh, I, I prefer the 
same height and width. Although technically, if you look at the uh, if you look at this door, it actually follows the golden ratio. Do you know what that is? It's uh, three high, two wide, and one deep, which is the golden ratio. I I hear I hear nasty stuff. I do too. Where's he at? Oh, it's nice and bright over here, though. Ooh, mushrooms. Bunches of mushrooms up that direction. Um, we mainly only just came over here to get... Ooh, ooh. Supports. I hear him. But Oh, he's right there. He is right there. Ah. Um... Okay, that, that must be some serious... La Are you actually over here? Did you come through? Yeah, I'm here. I don't see you, though. I'm here, I'm here. I don't see you, though. Do you see me? Am I standing still? I'm right next to you. Why? But why do I not see anything? I, I see... I don't see you. I can pick up blocks. That is weird. I don't think that the thing sees me, either. The... the, the yeah, ghast. I don't think it sees me. Me. Oh. Ooh, nether ores, I see. Nether ores. Nice. Okay, the mobs are moving around, and I, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. That's just weird. I, I, I hear you breaking blocks. <laughs> there we go. See you breaking the blocks, but I don't see you. Oh, that is just that is just hilarious. That is pretty funny, actually. All right, well, we'll take a quick look around here since we got. I mean, we only really needed like a couple, like two pieces of quartz, and we've covered that already. So. Nice big open area to kind of look around. I was hoping I would be able to spot a fortress pretty easy, but I don't see one close by. Bummer. Now, I got to wonder if this has the thing where it aggroes the pigmen when you break one of the nether ores. I only got nuggets out of that. What'd you break? Nether iron. Oh, nether iron? Um, maybe it requires that you have a special tool? Where's that dude at? Where'd he go? I want to kill him. But I can go on and see him. Oh, I see here. him. I see him. Is he going to shoot at me this time? Come on. I'm right here, dude. Oh, look. Here's one of those red crystals. A resonating crystal. It's got 8% power. I wonder if you pick... Oh, there he goes. He's shooting at me finally. Oh. Got him. Oh, did I get... Yes. Got me in net. So he was a tear. He wasn't shooting at you. Oh, he was shooting at me? Or he's shooting at you, huh? Maybe I'm the invisible one. It's like if I cover my eyes, you can't see me. <laughs> now that'll take a moment to sink in. Oh, he covered uncovered some Jasper ore. Cool. Sounds sounds good. Ooh, watch out for the lava. Seen another one over here. I'm gonna try to see if I can go shoot him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he spawn? I don't hear him no more. Those I didn't think they were usually despawn unless they're like really, really far away from you. Yeah, I don't see him. Hmm. Let me try and just like quickly reconnect. That is a weird bug. Yeah, but now we got access to all kinds of lava. Yeah, lava's not going to be an issue if we want some. But I'm not actually kind of interested in the all the, the the nether ores I'm seeing over here. It might actually be a decent place to go mining. Can you see me? Um, no? Are you, are you near where I was at? I, I mean, I walked off, so... Oh, you you were way over there, okay. Did you see where I went? Did you, did you waypoint yourself? No, but 
I know where I'm at. He sees. You're being fired. Yeah, at. he sees me now. Sounds like you killed him. Oh! Oh, well, that was bad. That was a bad. That was a bad. You hit a pig. Yeah, I misfired my arrow. Well, actually, I didn't misfire. It just. Oh, this is probably going to be so so bad. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 I feel compelled to come back through and help. Uh. Oh yeah, they're totally after me again. Totally after me again. Oh, come on, give me some... Ah, run, 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 really run, 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 You really run, 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 them off, didn't you? Run, run, a little bit. A little bit. Buggers. Okay, you want to fight? I'll fight you with a with an unfair advantage. Ah. Good thing they don't have bows and arrows. Guess I could eat food so that I heal. Do that a little bit, a little more food. Is that it? Oh, some babies. Well, it's good to know if one pisses them off, they're pissed at everyone. Okay. Any more? Is that it? You guys done? <laughs> uh, murdering pigmen. I suppose that would have been helpful if I would have like stayed by the portal and, and built our little portal room first before all that just went down, but I lived, so hey, hey. Watch out. We followed you through, so... Oh, that's one way to get rid of them. Send them through the portal. <laughs> oh, jeez, again. Watch out. Watch out, watch out. Man, you did a number on these guys. Still coming. Ah, oh, really? Oh, oh, not not exactly what I was hoping for <laughs> there, but we're okay. We're okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get undercover. Heal, heal, heal. I need some healing going on here. <laughs> Got a soul gem from him. Pigman soul gem. Trying to heal up just a little bit. I can see you. Can you yes, see me? Yes, I see you. Yeah, I, I, whatever the problem was, I think it's passed. <laughs> Come over here and see what you get out of this gold. Hang on, hang on. Use a good pickaxe. Don't use gems. Pickaxe. Use like your uh, diamond or whatever you got. I, well, I have an emerald. Pickaxe. That's try it right there. That, which is actually diamond level, so nuggets. Yeah, so all we get is nuggets. But I did. Well, yeah. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Incoming fireball! Come on, 
Shoot at me again. How dare you. Oh, he's way over there. He looks so far over there, he's forgotten about me. Keep an eye on that guy. Anyway, let's uh, let's get a, some kind of structure going here so we can. Ooh, another coal gives you a full piece of coal. Well, at least there's that. Be able to get through that in a, in a pinch, hopefully. All right, heading back. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good. That was a nice little. That was a nice little adventure into the Nether for the first adventure. I mean, we didn't die. I mean, it was close, but and and we screwed up. <laughs> we aggroed the pigmen. Uh, not not usually my. You aggro. Uh, yeah. You aggro. I aggroed pigment. the pigmen. I shot one with an arrow. That's what started the whole thing. Okay, so with the. Uh, with our nether quartz. In probably six. And some stone. That is stone, right? Yes. I don't need more than that. Just grab a bunch I of like that relog on fi that relogging feature they have on now. Yeah? Yeah, instead of having to restart the whole game, all you gotta do is just log back in. Nope, I still can't see you. Still can't see me. I'm here. Yeah, you're gonna have to log out back in. You're the. Well, I mean, uh, let me just finish this controller and then I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode. All right. Because I've got food waiting for me here. Okay. Um, Real food. Real food. There we go. Uh, so, need to make. I think we've accomplished a few things today. I did most. I did a little bit of it off camera, but I don't think that hurts. I need six total for two comparators. They should be able to see the difference from video to video. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure of that. All right, there we go. Drawer controller. Nice. And let's put that, install that. There we go. Now I can walk up and go dink dink, and it'll clear all the stuff out of my inventory. Yay. That, that. that works nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thornell really needed that more than I did because he's the one doing all the mining and he's getting his inventory full of random stuff and. You know, now it can just go right back, right into the drawer that it belongs in as we go. Um, and we can extend this drawer system up to the second floor if we need to and start adding all kinds of drawers. And in fact, I think it can almost extend out to almost the whole building. Especially if we had, we could eventually move the controller over towards the middle of the building and that would really allow us to cover everything inside the building. But I don't think we need like a mega system just yet. I mean, we'll get there. We will get there. But anyway, guys. Yeah, that, that's when we'll move it to the floor below. Yeah, move it to the floor below. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us, and uh, I will catch you later. Later.